I thought that made some sense. It's not the easiest thing to do, to be fair, but this guy's quite nice. It's dead nice, we can get it, we can spot it. Right, so it says sometimes substitution may involve substituting a to the x, so we've got exponential functions, uh, and we can make them as disguised quadratics as well. Now then, <laughs> here's the thing. This 9 here, this 9 to the x, is the same as 3 squared to the power x. Is the same as, if I use my indices laws, 3 to the power 2x. Is the same if I sneak backwards as 3 to the x all squared. So if you look what I've got now, I've got 3, instead of this little one, I'll the equation there. Instead of 9 to the power x, I've now got 3 to the power x all squared, and then minus 4 lots of 3 to the x, so that's okay. Plus 3 is equal to 0. If I put in poly, 1 minus 4, 3, that gives me, uh, so give me, Um, one bit here. That gives me um, one or three out, but then my something is my three to the x. So I've got three to the power x is equal to one. I've got three to the power x. Now, 1 is the same as 3 to the power 0. So because of that, because 1 is the same as 3 to the power 0, x must be 0. 3 is 3 to the power 1. So if I've got the 3 to the x is 3, that must mean that x is 1. I'm not sure if we're doing there in the power or not. So there's 1 here. Now, they do like the proper full substituting, changing it into y. But... If you can get um, to that bit there, so in poly, I'm just using 1 minus 6, 8, and my something is 2 to the x, and that's fine. So 2 to the x is 4, so 2 to the x is the same as 2 squared, so x is 2. 2 to the x is 2, so 2 to the x is 2 to the power 1, so x is 1. Right, so look at the next one then. We've got some questions there to work on. But it's not the end of that uh, last one, unfortunately. Right, so, whoosh, let's have a look at this 3. I've got 3 to 2x plus 1. If you notice here, I've got 3 to the x. So I'm going to faff around with this 3 to 2x plus 1. Now that, if I split the power, because so 2x plus 1 is a power, it's 3 to the power 2x times by 3 to the power 1. That 3 to the power 2x is the same as 3 to the x all squared. But it's multiplied by 3. So what I've actually got is 3 lots of 3 to the x all squared. So my 3 to the 2x plus 1 is actually 3 lots of 3 to the x all squared. And I've got minus 82 lots of 3 to the x, which stays the same, plus 27. So if I put that into poly, if I put into poly 3 minus 82, what do I think I've got that wrong? 27 of my something. 3 to the x, it gives me a 27 and a third. So that's equal to 3 to the power x. So you know that 27 is 3 cubed, so 3 to the x is 3 cubed, so that must mean that x is 3. For the 3 to the x is a third, we know that 3 to the x is 3 to the power minus 1. So if 3 to the x is 3 to the power minus 1, 
but x must be minus 1 there. So there's another one time we go out, I'm switching the lights on again. So I'm going to split that up. That's going to be 2 to the x times by 2 to the power 1. So that's going to become 2 lots of 2 to the x. Whereas that is going to be 2 to the x all squared. Let's have a look. Um, there we go. Ditch that. So I've got a 2 to the x all squared minus 2 lots of 2 to the x plus 1. Put it in poly. So 1 minus 2, 1. And my something is, is 2 to the x. So 2 to the x is 1. 1 is 2 to the power 0. So 2 to the x is 2 to the power 0. So x must be 0. So there's some questions there, but we've not finished the lesson yet. Right, bye-bye.